Hello, hello. Today's video is all about the brand new Westman Atelier Vital Skincare Concealer. And this is what we will be starting off concealer week with. This week I'm dedicating to concealers. We're going to do wear tests, details, all of the things. Just like we did in foundation week. But at the end of this one, I will be sharing my full roundup of all the products and my entire concealer collection and I'm due for a declutter. Concealer is one of those products that I use the most and I want to share some of my favorites, you know, all of those things. So let's start off concealer week right with Westman Atelier, shall we? So what is concealer and why do I feel the need to share a full week of concealers? Well, we could go more than a week, but we're just going to do a week. <laughs> so concealer, it's just one of those products that I want to try them all and I've tried a lot. So I feel comfortable and confident in this category. So concealer is something you can use with foundation or wear all on its own. And it's used to hide darkness, imperfection, blemishes, and to even out the skin. It's also used to brighten and just blend away your imperfections. Similar to foundation, you have different coverage levels when it comes to concealer. Consistencies, serums, just plain old makeup type concealers. So I feel I have a good little blend mix of finishes, coverage levels, all of those things this week for you in Concealer Week. So make sure that you're subscribed so that you don't miss out. What I look for in a concealer is I want something that's going to give me a lightweight texture and consistency. I don't want to feel like I'm wearing anything heavy on my under eye. I don't want anything tight and dry on my under eye. Ultimately, I want my concealer to allow me to look like me, but hide away my imperfections, all while moving with my skin and not looking heavy and cakey. So we're on a mission to find products like that. And I hope with the new ones that I'll be sharing with you this week, we can. And then of course, at the end of the week, like I mentioned, we are gonna do a full roundup, just like in foundation week, but I'm also gonna be sharing my entire collection with you and we are due for a declutter. Because in my husband's words, you're out of control. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get into the details about the Westman Atelier Vital Skincare Concealer. Again, I have my notes, so if you see me looking down, I just want it to be thorough, detailed, all of the things. So Gucci Westman, who is Westman Atelier, says that this formula is so precise that it sets, hydrates, and lasts all day, and it took her four years to perfect. So Pro Pigments and Serum Strength Actives give you that melt in the skin coverage. Now this concealer is said to be nourishing yet it have an airy formula. I can't wait to see what that feels like. <laughs> it delivers a creaseless hyper real finish that blurs and lets your skin breathe. We're going to be very keen on paying attention to that because there's nothing worse than something saying it's creaseless and then it looks like all oh at the end of the day. <laughs> So that's another reason why I want to do full wear tests on all of our concealers this week. And of course, I get nice and close, we go out, we carry on with our day, and we see how these things hold up. This concealer retails for $48, and I have it in two shades. So the coverage on this is said to be a medium to full, so it's buildable. As far as the finish, it's a natural finish, more of a super natural skin-like finish. I, I love how all of this sounds, but we're gonna really put it to the test and see because clearly we need to know because those are some mega ultra claims. Let's get into the packaging. So again, I have two shades. I have T2, Atelier T2, and Atelier M4. Classic Westman Atelier packaging. You get the cute details all around. You hear that? Glass packaging, so be careful. I, uh... I have to share that because I went and opened and it accidentally flung out and thankfully it did not break. <laughs> but I have to share. Packaging is very Westman Atelier. I love all the simplicity, the details, the color story. Everything is really nice. You have a little peekaboo window here so you can see your product. And of course the little Westman Atelier heart logo. And we've got a 12 month shelf life. Let's open her up and see. I haven't even swatched these. I opened up the package when it first arrived, but I didn't swatch them. Okay, so here we go. We have a doe foot applicator. And then of course down here, you've got your Westman Atelier. Beautiful details. 
No fragrance, as you will know. Westman Atelier is super clean. Keen on the details on all of that. So here is M4. And then T2. M4, which is lighter, and then T2. Westman Atelier says that these products do pair well with the Baby Blender brush. This was initially created for blending your cream blushes, your baby cheeks. Does a great job at that, but I can totally see how and why this would be suggested for a blending concealer. Now with that said, you can use this to blend the concealer, you can use your finger, or you can go in with your sponge. We're gonna try all of them and let's see. For one side of my face today, I'm just going to be going in with the concealer. On the other side, I'll go in with my Westman Atelier foundation and we'll put this on top and we'll see how everybody plays together, how everybody, you know, all of those things. As many details as possible, that's what I'm here to share with you. As always, we always want to take care of our skin and I'm going to be using the exact same skin care products all week. My Augustinus Botter, the Rich Cream. So I've let the swatches sit for about five minutes. I don't see much color change. Maybe just like a tad a hair, which is normal for um, colored products. But the finish still looks really pretty. It's maintained. All right, here we are. Hello, hi. <laughs> here is what my under eyes look like. I have some discoloration on the most inner portion, and then a little bit out here. M4 is the lighter of the two. So I'm gonna go in and start with that shade. I do want to use this for my brightening shade. And then with T2, which is a bit darker, I will go in on my face where I have little freckles and imperfections and put it there. So let's go in with the Baby Blender and go ahead and use this to blend out. Very creamy. Nice coverage, okay. I mean, I'm not like super surprised, but you know, you never know. And my, uh, the marks I have on my face are pretty dark. So to get nice coverage right away, that's that's a plus. So with those, I use the brush. I feel quite comfortable. Very, very comfortable on the skin. Doesn't feel heavy and it's blending very, very nicely. I'm going to take my finger and blend these areas just so we can see how that goes. Nice blend, nice blend. Blends very, very nicely with the finger. And then for the under eye, I'm going to go in with a sponge. Again, this is my the lighter shade, so it's going to be a bit brightening on my under eye as I would, as intended. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Very, very, very nice coverage. With the T2 shade, I'm going to put a little bit more on my under eye. Let's see how the coverage builds. I'm just gonna go in with a touch, just a touch of M4. So I don't wanna take away my brightness. So that's the little combo cocktail. And again, this is probably what I would do um, using the product. Blending very nicely. Feels nice on the skin. And I'm taking it on the lid because I am gonna do a quick little eye look. 
So I just wanted to apply and see. How do we feel about this? <laughs> How are we feeling about this? Wow. Yeah, I feel like I could totally go with just this, just concealer on the face. It's looking pretty good. But we got to see how it goes with foundation. So I'm going to quickly apply my Westman Atelier foundation stick. And then we'll go in with the concealer and see how that goes. Isn't that foundation stick so gorgeous? It just, it's skin. So good. Going with M4, the more brightening one. I'm going to put that for this side and let's see. Let's blend it with the brush. Let's see. We, I mean, we saw how it blended with the brush on the other side, but for the under eye, I just want to see... I feel like I'm gonna get a ton of coverage in like the best way possible. Blended quite nicely with the brush. I'm gonna go in with T2. And blend that with my, and blend that with the sponge. I like the brightening effect of the other shade, but the color on T2 with it just looks so good. Plus I wanna build it up to see what it looks like and wears like all day, so. We must. For the amount of coverage I am getting, wow. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Let's really take a look at this thing, okay? All right, so. Okay, so on this side of my face, it's just concealer. This side of the face is foundation and concealer. Forehead is just foundation. Don't worry about the forehead. Gucci Westman said that this will self-set. So here's what we'll do. <laughs> on the side that I did just concealer, which is on my right, your left, we're not going to set it. For the side with foundation and concealer, I'm going to go in with my go-to powder from Westman Atelier, the Vital Skincare Powder in Pink Bubble. So we'll set one side and we'll not set the other. And we'll see. Look how nice it looks. I'm gonna set the lid of the other side, only the lid, not the under eye. Cause I want my eyeshadow to be okay. Not the under eye, just the lid, okay? Hi there, <laughs> we're nice and close. So this is the side that I set, and this is the side that I did not set. Here's how we're looking. I just was looking in my mirror to make sure I'm seeing and everything's okay. Yeah. We've got our fine lines and we've got our movement. And when I scrunch my nose, we're going to be focusing in on those areas to see if the product is going to move with me and how it's going to wear and look. But right now, freshly apply. Remember, this side is set and this side is not set. Feels nice. I think it looks pretty good. I'm gonna quickly do a little something on the face, not too much, because I don't want to take away from the product itself. But I do want to do a little something, a little presentable, put myself together. I'm gonna go in with my Tissue iPods, intentionally keeping things very soft for my look today.
here's our finished look. Let me show you how everything is looking. Again, this is the side I did foundation and concealer. This is the side just concealer. Again, this is the side we set, and this is the side we did not set. I think we're still holding up pretty good. <laughs> All right, wear test starts now. I'll check in with you, and let's see how this new Vital Skin Care Concealer holds up today. It is like 100 degrees. It is so hot. But that's a good thing, because then we get to see how the concealer performs. <laughs> but... I feel like the side, the only thing I'm noticing is the side that I did not set. I feel like it looks a little different. Not bad, but you can see the difference. I feel like it's moving with the skin a little bit better, obviously, because it's not set. But it still feels really good, and I think for the most part, it still looks really good. Hello, hello. Good evening. We're at the end of the day, the end of our wear test. And I have noticed some things and I can't wait to share them with you. But here is how everything is looking. Um, we'll get super close in just a second, but... <laughs> Let me just grab my notes that we can compare claims versus reality, meaning what they said versus what I experienced, and we'll let the product speak for itself. Let's just start off with the hydration that lasts all day. I always like talking about how things feel because I think that's so important. Hold on, let me make sure my mic is on because last time I was filming, my mic wasn't on and that was a nightmare. I had to redo everything. Okay, we good? Mic check, we good? Okay, I hope so. It's green. Okay, when it comes to makeup and skincare and things that we're putting on our face and staying there all day, I'm big on sharing how it feels because that's so important. That to me is very much part of the experience. So hydration, I do feel hydrated, I do feel comfortable. Wherever I put the product feels comfortable, feels good. So the formula claimed to give you that melt into your skin type of finish that feels as good as it looks. The formula was nice, it was a nice formula. A nice balance of a pigmented, lightweight texture and consistency that blended beautifully and did not feel heavy at all. Okay, okay, the big one, the big one. Creaseless, hyper real finish that blurs and lets your skin breathe. I have to be careful, I forgot I'm wearing this bright lip that's pretty faded, but look, do you see how nice this lipstick looks once it's faded? Where is it, this one? This is LFG, great formula. Uh, I, I don't mind wearing a bright lip like this because then it fades, because I've eaten, I've drank, I drink out of straw, so that helps. But I just love how it looks. Anyways, I digress. Creaseless. No, I don't think it's creaseless. <laughs> I don't think it's completely creaseless. The product itself on my face, I don't have any issues of it moving around or disappearing or looking weird. As far as the coverage claim of it being medium to full, yes, this gave some good coverage. And for the amount of coverage that I got with it still remaining lightweight, Westman Atelier did good on that, absolutely. Now, here's the part where I'm just gonna let the product speak for itself and then I'll share my two cents, okay? Are we ready? We're gonna get close. Again, it's the end of the day. <laughs> so, you know, things are gonna be a little bit different, but that's this is why I'm here. I hold back nothing, I share it all. The good and the bad, and even when it's not the most flattering. Oh, really quick, a lot of people ask me about the new formula of the Toujours um, iPods. The formula's a lot better. And look, here's what my eyes uh, look looks like at the end of the day. Obviously, I didn't do anything crazy, but this is what happens with the eye look at the end of the day. I have a heavy fold right here, and even with that, it's not bad. It's not bad. Holds up pretty good. Okay, let's get to the under eye. A little shiny on the nose. Don't mind that. That's normal. It's my skin type. But here we are. And then on the skin here, because this is the side I used only the concealer on all over my face. And then over here we did the foundation, powdered, and concealer. Not in that order. <laughs> but 
I am very expressive. I move my face. I scrunch my nose. So all of those areas, you know, we're going to be looking at really closely. Very, very closely. <laughs> this is the side that's set. Okay. And then if you look right here, this area, that's where I scrunch my nose. <laughs> I'm very expressive in my face. I know I'm one of those people. Um, I have a bit of creasing there. You can see. But for the most part, not bad. Now, this side, this is the side that we did not set. I feel really good about this side. I feel like this side looks really good in comparison to the side that has the powder and is set. And again, this Westman Atelier powder, it's really light. It's a thin, light powder, and I use this powder literally every single time I do my makeup. There is a huge dip in it. I feel really good about this new concealer. I feel confident and comfortable wearing it, especially knowing that it self sets. So it's not gonna go anywhere and it's very fuss free type of product. And for the amount of coverage after wearing it all day, my oils are coming through, my lipstick is faded, my smile lines are peeking through and you know, we're starting to look like it's time to touch up or just take it off, <laughs> whatever you please. Um, but I feel I feel good about this. I think it's performed really well. The only thing I'm not gonna go along with in the claim is that it's crease proof and it's crease less. I do think it's very skin-like, very nice, lightweight, very skin but better, very Westman Atelier, you know, especially again for the amount of coverage that you're getting. We'll talk more about this later on in the week as I continue to try it out. We'll see what we have that's comparable when we round up and all the things. So Concealer Week continues. Don't forget to give today's video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't. As always, thank you so much for spending your time with me. I will see you very, 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 very soon. Stay beautiful, guys. Bye.